Welcome to the first episode of Node.js REST API with MongoDB. This can be written in both JavaScript and TypeScript. And in this episode, we are going to install Node.js through NVM. And also, we are going to see how to switch Node.js versions. And also, we are going to do both Windows and Mac. OK, let's uh, get started with the installation of Node version manager. And uh, I already put this uh, link in the description. You can check it out and go to this GitHub page of Node version manager and you can actually see all the commands there and copy that command, curl command and hit it in the hit it in your terminal. I'm using bash. You can actually use Z shell or bash. It's up to you. But I'm just using bash here and I'm going to create bash rc file and i'm going to export last two lines into bash rc file and you uh, basically uh, the default shell for the mac is z shell or z sh you can either use bash or z shell uh, z shell is just an extension of bash and it has more features so you can you can you can use either either of it it doesn't matter so um let's let's add these two lines to this bash rc file okay let's see whether these lines are added or not with the cat command yes these are added and let's see uh, whether nvm works or not no, it's not working. And f f for the NVM to work, you need to load this bash RC so that so that all th those two lines will get uh, will be affected. So now, when you load it again, you you can actually see it's working. So we are using zero point three nine point three version, and there is a command called list. You can actually list all the Node.js versions with the list. Okay, we have installed NVM. Let's use this NVM to install Node.js. Uh, I have already put this page in the description. Uh, you can open this page and see uh, what is the latest version of Node.js. And go to the GitHub page. Let's go to the GitHub page and see, GitHub page of uh, Node version manager and see how to install. Yeah, there is a install command. And if you install Node, it actually installs latest version of node. Let's see. Yes, installation done. Let's see, we are using node version 20. So the current version of node is 20. So it actually installs the latest version. And we can see node version is 20 and NPM version is nine. Let's install another one. Let's install version 18 you remember uh, that is the advantage of node version using node version manager you can install multiple versions of node on your laptop so let's install version 18 oh version 18 is already on my laptop so it's currently using version 18 right now let's let's install version 16 so version 16 is done uh, we are using version 16 right now let's use list command yes we can see 16 18 20 all the versions we can see okay we have installed multiple versions of uh, node.js uh, node.js on our laptop and let's let's see how to switch so we have a command called um, use and we are using we are currently using version 16 and NVM has a command called use. You can actually use that command to switch versions. So let's use that. We are currently using 16. Um, yeah, we switch it to 18 right now. Let's see. Yes, we have 18. And let's switch it to 18 again or 16. Yep, we are using 16 again. And yes, you can actually see how easy to switch Node.js versions using Node version manager. Let's see how to uninstall Node.js versions using NVM. Let's list what we have right now. We have 16, 18, 20. 
and let's uninstall version 18 yep we have successfully uninstalled 18 and let's list it out again so we don't see that 18 anymore and the currently we are using 16 let's clear and let's uh, let's try to uninstall 16 and let's see what's going to happen oops we cannot uninstall 16 because we are current, we are currently using 16 so let's uh, let's use use command to switch to node version 20 and then uninstall version 16 yes now we have successfully uninstalled version 16 and let's list it out we have only 20 right now and let's install 16 and 18 again Yes, 16 and 18 are successfully installed and let's list it out. We have 16, 18 and 20. So we have done everything on Mac so far and let's see how we, uh, how we can do on Windows. So I have already put this link in the, in the below description and you can, you can click on it and you can go to this GitHub page and let's hit that NVM setup zip file and uh, let it download. Once it is downloaded, open that file and let's double click on this. And once you double click on this, uh, it will it will open uh, install wizard like this and you can just accept the agreement and go to next. And then um, you can you, you can give locations where, where to install Node.js and where to install NPM, NPM and all that stuff. And, and let's hit that finish button. And now you have NVM installed on your Windows machine. Let's open up uh, let's uh, let's open PowerShell and let's see which version of NVM we are using. So we are using 1.1.11. Good. Uh, we have installed NVM successfully. <coughs> let's go ahead and um, yeah, we already we already know what is the latest version of Node.js. We have 18 and 20 is the latest version and we already know what is the install command to actually install node.js so that command will actually install latest version of node.js which is 20 let's uh, let's use this command and let's let's let it download Yep, uh, we are done with the download and let's see uh, which version we are using. Oops, so we are not we are not able to use this command because um, on on Mac, as soon as you run that command nvm install uh, node version, you can instantly use uh, use uh, use node and nvm commands npm commands but on windows you have to use after the installation command you have to you have to use command you need to do use command so since we have installed 20.2.0 version let's let's use that version and then we, you can start using node and npm commands oops yep it's working now so let's install version 18 as well yep version 18 is downloaded sorry installed and let's let's do use command to actually use that version 18. Now we are using version 18. 
and yep we can check with the node version and npm version as well Yeah, we have two versions. Uh, you can actually see with the list command, we have installed version 20 and we have installed version 18. So in the same way, uh, you can actually use command to switch, uh, to switch versions, Node.js versions between uh, either you can, you can install a number of Node.js versions and you can actually uh, use use command to switch between these Node.js Node versions. So we have 18 and 20 on our machine. Um, let's install version 16 as well. Let it install. Yep, we have now version 16. Uh, let's use the list command to see what are all the versions on our mission. We have 20, 18, and 16. Let's uninstall 18. Oops, this command didn't work because we did not give the entire number like minor version as well. We need uh, on, on Mac, you can actually give 18 and it works. But on Windows, you have to give the entire number minor version as well. So uh, let's let's use 18.16.0 so that it it will be uninstalled successfully. Yep, it's un uninstalled. Let's use the list command to see what are all the versions now. We have only 20 and 16 right now. So let's see. Oh, now the node. Uh, okay. So basically, uh, since uh, since you uninstall the version which is being currently used, you have to use the command use again to load the speci specific version of Node.js that you are uh, you are you are going to use on on your machine. So so now we are using twenty and let's uninstall sixteen. And with this uh, with this we will conclude our uh, Node.js installation.